What's up YouTube? It's Travis with Rotolines Customs. Today we're going to be working on the shoebox front end, putting the front end back together, and finishing painting the frame and control arms. Just like that, it's snowy. Winter in New England. But, got my spray paint. Ready to finish this chassis. All right, as you saw, got my paint. I'm gonna finish the frame. But first, before I can paint it, I totally forgot. Need to fix that body mount. So, I had to take make a template out of this one, cut it out of steel, weld it over there. There we go. There we go. A uh, piece, I think it's 12 gauge. I mean, 14 or 16 gauge, I don't know. But it is going to be our body mount. What I'm going to do here is take my angle finder, find the angles that these bends are at, transfer them to this, but upside down because if I make this side exactly, it's gonna be this side. I can't flip it over and put it over there. It's not symmetrical like that, so. Put a 20 degree bend on this. Find out the angle again, and I can almost guarantee it's going to be another 20 degree bend. Alright, we got this bent. Now I'm going to find final length for this end here. Looks like 2 inches. So, I'm going to mark it at 2 inches and cut it off. Alright, now I got this all cut, bent the way it needs to be. I'm going to roll this edge over like the factory is. So starting, so starting after the bend, a little after the bend, so like here and here. That's my plan here, is just to chuck it up in the vise and hammer it over. Simplest, easy way to do it. Okay, now, this goes just like that, perfect. Let's grind all this old rotted piece off the top here, grind it off of there. I'm not gonna rivet it in because I cannot get to the back side of this, so I'm gonna weld it. So I'll grind it off, grind this, clean it, punch four holes in here for plug welding, then I need to get a measurement from the floor to the bottom of this mount on the other side. So when I put this on here and weld everything together, it's where it should be so I don't really have to shim much. 
it'll be perfect. So let's clean this up. Four holes for plug welds, center for the bolt. before I welded it, but you know, nobody's perfect. All right, so I got the bottom part welded on. So now I'm gonna level out the front of this frame here, uh, which is probably already level as it is, but make sure it's level, measure to the bottom of that mount, make sure it's the same over here, and I'll weld it. All right, perfect. I'm gonna take a measurement here, Measure twice, measure twice, weld once. 18 and a half to the top. Top of this is 18 and a half now. I have a shim underneath that. I'm going to drill those holes out and plug weld them to those rivets. It's all dusty and foggy in here, but got my spindles and uprights cleaned up finally. And I also have the upper control arms, so I'm going to start painting. First coat on everything. Got some spindles over here drying. Oh, I didn't do the frame. So I have all of the control arms, lowers, uppers, I got my uprights, spindles, steering arms, weird backing plate things, uh, shock mounts for the bottom of the control arms, springs over there, 
frames painted. So, let's assemble the front end. All right, let's start with... All right, guys, that's it for this video. I uh, got the front end mostly together. Got the frame painted, control arms painted, everything like that. I got the body mount fixed. So if you guys would like, comment, and subscribe, it really is going to help out the channel. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks for hanging out.